Well, here's what the media is concentrating on. Anything anti-Trump. Just from one paper today, the Washington Post, I'm going to repeat these headlines. Here we go. GOP reaches new level of panic over Trump candidacy. Opinion, Trump's shallowness runs deep. Opinion, Donald Trump makes his most dangerous comments yet. Opinion, the Republican Party has lost its soul. Come in, Fred Barnes. Have you any idea why the Washington Post is the most rabid of all the anti-Trump outlets? Well, it must come from the top. Uh, and in this case, uh, look, I get the Washington Post delivered to my door every day. And uh, this is pretty consistent that it's anti-Trump failing. Uh, and, and it's really on the editorial page, too. You know, uh, yeah. uh, the columnists, obviously all the liberal columnists are anti-Trump. But most of the conservative columnists uh, that the Post carries are anti-Trump as well. That's right. <laughs> yes, they're, they're piling on. Now, we're hearing about something called a GOP Trump intervention. Save yeah. his candidacy. Rescue mm -hmm. him from himself. Is right. that another media invention or is there something to it? I don't think it's a media invention, but there has been some talk about this. I don't think it's going to happen, and it's like many things involving Trump has been blown out of proportion. Uh, sometimes that's, of course, his fault, uh, but I wouldn't take this too seriously unless Trump does not do one thing. He needs to announce his economic plan. Yeah. And it's been sitting around, and he needs to approve it. There's some talk. He'll do it early next week, um, but it, it's something that is going to make the contrast uh, between Trump, what he's for, and what Hillary Clinton's for, really dramatic. It, it, I mean, this is an issue that helps Trump enormously. Well said, because look, that new Fox poll finds more mm -hmm. voters trust Donald Trump than Hillary Clinton on the economy. It's 50 to 45 on the mm -hmm. economy. He also beats Hillary Clinton on handling the deficit. 49 to 44. These are the only issues where he comes out on top, and you're saying, play to your strength? Is that it? Of course, play to your strength. But and, you've and, got to uh, focus on your strengths. You don't go yeah, off uh, on tangents, Bill. Uh, of course. I, I, I couldn't agree with you more because there's a phenomenon here that Trump seems to be ignoring, and that is Hillary Clinton uh, benefits when she's in the background. Her her poll numbers go up. This has been true for a long time, not just in this campaign. Well, Fred, but she's winning she's by fronting, saying nothing. She, she, that's right. She says exactly. virtually nothing about actual policy, and she's winning. She's winning, but if Trump makes her front and center on the economy, on immigration, on any number of other issues, law and order, uh, terrorism, issues that work for him, if he makes her the issue, her numbers will go down. They've always done that. And yet, he's made himself the issue. Yes. Use your influence, Fred Barnes. You've got a lot of <laughs> clout down there in the, in the beltway. Use your influence. But, Fred, thanks for joining us, sir. We do appreciate uh, it. Thank you.